this is Bill Abder, and first of all, thanks to uh, Turnbuckle Promotions for uh, letting us uh, do this interview on uh, their time right here at the Sheridan Bucks County, right across the street from Sesame Place, where Cookie Monster lives. And you, uh, my guest here, you know who uh, Cookie Monster is these days, <coughs> don't you? Yeah, not just from my days of watching the Cookie Monster. It's actually uh, six days a week when my son wakes up at six o'clock in the morning and wants to watch Sesame Street and Bert and Ernie and the Cookie Monster. And yeah, you know, it's all good. It's Taking all one good. for the team. Yeah, I had no idea, though, that... How old is your son now, too? My son's two and a half, yeah. And, and uh, what's his name? His name is Gage. His name is Gage. Mm -hmm. How did you come up with a, a name like that? Well, you know, I'm a, uh, a car collector. Right. My wife is a stunt woman. Right. And um, that has nothing to do with the story. I but, was going to say that. Um, <coughs> Gage, I think of a gun. Well, no, 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 no. It does have something to do with the story. But the the fact is that at 3 o'clock in the morning, she wakes me up and says, uh, you know, honey, I have a, I have a name for, for our, our, our boy. And she says, Gage. And the in, the first thing I thought was, can we spell it G-A-U-G-E? And the answer was no. So <laughs> I tried to name him after a, a, a car part, but, uh, you know, tried to name him Hammy, tried to name him Cuda, something like that. But right. those are reserved for, for my animals now, and his name's Gage. So. She go for it. Tell us about your wife. What is it? You mentioned your wife is a... Uh... You know, I met my wife. Uh, I, I did a movie up in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Um, called Santa's Sleigh. I remember that. Yeah, and I uh, I lived up there in the uh, wonderful Great White North for three months, and uh, I was fortunate enough to to uh, meet a stunt woman on set that was the most wonderful woman in the world. I knew that from the second I met her, and uh, now she's the the uh, mother of my two and a half year old little boy well, what was and she, my what, wife. What kind of stunt was she doing? Well, well the when, stunt that she was doing in the show is, yeah. is a far departure from what she normally does. Uh -huh. She did a backflip off of a trapeze on the show or in the movie, but she usually crashes cars and stuff like that. And that's what enamored you to. Uh, well, that's one thing that right. you know her wonderful smile and her sense of humor, mainly her sense of humor, and the fact that she had absolutely no idea who I was under that Santa Claus outfit. <laughs> so she had never seen you wrestle. She'd before? never even heard of Goldberg. Really. It was wonderful. Quite humbling at the time, but it was wonderful. Is that something you needed in your life, someone who didn't know uh, where you came from and who you are? I didn't necessarily need somebody that didn't know who I was and where I came from. I just needed somebody who was stable enough to provide me with that better half. You know. So, yeah, yeah. Um, what, what part of uh, you is, uh, let's say, uh, not stable enough where you need someone to help stabilize the rest of you? You lobotomize me with that question, <laughs> but I, I'd say it's uh, it's uh, seventy five percent of my body. I'd say is that right? Yeah, you know, yeah. hey, we all we're You're all still a big kid. We're all a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde inside, yeah. but uh, um, I needed a, a voice of reason in my life, I suppose, and someone that I looked up to and uh, appreciated and, and respected, and, and uh, she's that person. So okay, and you look really happy. I, I have never been happier in my entire life. That's great. I got to tell you. That's and, great. you know, you've seen me throughout some good times and bad times. Yeah, I sure have. I've been there. And, uh, you know, I tell you what, it's the it's the coolest time in the world to be a father of a two and a half year old boy and the, the husband of a very successful and very wonderful and humbled woman. And uh, not to mention, she's pretty hot, too. So. Uh, you, you meant she has a TV show as she well? She has a TV show. She just finished up second season yesterday. Uh, it's on Animal Planet. It's called Faithful Friends. Mm hmm. And, uh, you know, it's wonderful for her because she doesn't have to jump off a building to get paid, you know. So yeah, she's yeah. just sitting behind a camera reading off a teleprompter, which is kind of easy. Kind of cool. Yeah. Kinda, we have no teleprompter here. No, no, next, thank On you. our next installment. If we did have a teleprompter, it would be on your head. I don't know why you said that. Well, yeah, because I'm looking at your head. Okay. That's I appreciate why. that. Well, yeah, on our next installment, we'll come, come back and answer questions sent by the fans here at OneWrestling.com. And I can't wait. <laughs>